3.2 is still your number patterns, but it's revising sigma notation. So it can sometimes look a little bit icky, but we're going to work through this together. So let's take a look at this question. It says, given that the sum of this sequence, x minus 3k, from 1 to 6 is equal to the sum of the same sequence from 1 to 9. So basically I'm saying term 1 plus term 2 all the way to term 6 is the same as term 1 plus term 2 plus all the way to term 9. Prove that for the same pattern, okay? These are all the same rule here. If I add up to term 15 or k equals 15, I'm going to get 0, okay? So, guys, remember, sigma notation, if you have k equals 1 and you have 6 over there, it means that if you add up, k, you substitute k equals 1 into this expression, you're going to have x minus 3 plus x minus, if I substitute k equals 2, or minus 6, plus all the way, and I substitute k equals 6 into the equation, I'm going to get the same answer as if I substitute all the way up to 9. Okay, so this, guys, immediately, from what you could see, if you look here, you know that it's arithmetic because there's no n squared and there's no r. There's just this with a common first difference. So arithmetic, guys, should immediately tell you that because we have a sigma notation, we are looking for a sum. And therefore, Sn is equal to a, or not a, n, over 2 times a plus n minus 1 d. Okay. But guys, we don't know d. So, Another way of writing this is Sn is equal to n over 2 times a plus the last term. Okay, so if you look here, for this first expression, we have the sum to 6, because that's what the 6 indicates over here. Okay, and we have x minus 3k. So S6 is equal to 6 divided by 2, into the first term, which is, if we substitute 1 into here, we're going to get x minus 3. Okay. Plus the last term. Remember, we're going up to 6. So if we substitute 6 into this expression, we're going to get x minus 3 times 6, which is x minus 18. Okay, so that is the sum to the sixth term. And now they've said to us, the sum to the sixth term, this is looking real messy, let me clean this up. So we've sorted this one out. The sum to the sixth term is equal to the sum to the ninth term. So let's find an expression for the sum to the ninth term. S9 is equal to 9 over 2 into the first term is going to be the same. But the last term, we're going to have to substitute 9 into here. So we're going to get x minus 3 times 9, which is 27. So x minus 27. And now they say to us right at the beginning that these two are equal to each other. So if we make the left hand side equal to the right hand side, we can solve for x. So 6 over 2 into, I'm going to try and simplify this expression over here. x plus x is 2x and negative 3 minus 18 is negative 21. And now if we look at the sum to the 9, which is the right hand side, we're going to get 9 over 2 into x plus x is again 2x and negative 3 minus 27 is negative 30. Okay, so now we just keep simplifying. So 6 over 2 is the same as 3. We might as well just write this as 3 here. So 
3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 21 is 63. And on the right-hand side, 9 over 2 times 2x is just 9x. And 9 over 2 times negative 30, well, 30 divided by 2 is 15. And 15 times 9 is a really big number. So I'm going to say 9 divided by 2 times 30 is going to give me 135. And now we just carry on simplifying until we find x. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. So I get 3x on this side. And if I add 135 to both sides, I get negative 63 plus 135 is 72. Okay, so that means that x is equal to 72 divided by 3, which is 24. Okay, so basically what we've done up until now is we've used, if I clean this up again, we've used this fact to find x. So now that we know that x is 24, we can prove that this sum is true. Okay, so sum to the 15 of the same thing, x minus 3k. So here, sum k equals 1 to 15 of x minus 3k. We're trying to prove this, required to prove. Okay, and remember we've just found <coughs> that x is 24. Okay, so now we do the same thing. We use the sum formula. So s n is equal to n divided by 2, which is 15 over 2. Okay, here we're going to say the left hand side. It's equal to 15 over 2 into the first term. So the first term is going to be 24 minus 3k and k is 1. So 24 minus 3 is 21 plus the last term. And if we substitute 15 in here, we're going to get 24 minus 3 times 15. Okay, so if we keep going, we can simply put all of this into our calculator. 15 divided by 2 multiplied by 21 plus 24 minus 3 times 15, which is 45, and that gives us 0. And that is equal to the right-hand side. Remember, we were required to prove this. This is the right-hand side. And therefore, you've proved that the sum of this whole expression here to term 15 is equal to 0. Okay, and that is the end of question 3.